In this video, I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video within a view web app. Let's get started. So how do we do that? We're going to do that by uh, using this library called PLYR. So if you go to Google and you search PLYR GitHub, uh, which allows you to embed videos from various uh, video sites, YouTube, Vimeo, um, HTML5 video as well. And if you go to their GitHub, uh, you can follow the instructions on how to add it um, to your code base. And uh, it's very, it's very, very awesome because it actually makes things a lot easier and it gives you certain, um, it gives you certain methods that you can use. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the view section and we're going to use the library that uh, the person has made uh, for view. So if you go to, if you go back to our code base, Okay, if we go back to our YouTube looper uh, directory, um, we can do something like npm add view dash plyr dash dash save. And what this will do is this will add this file to the package.json file and install it so that we can start using it. So let's give this a quick moment while it uh, gets the library. And then we can follow the instructions here on how to uh, basically import this library and set it up so that we can start using it. So let's look at the code here. We have a main view file. So this is this app.view file. Um, and then here's all the setup code. And so this is where we want to put this code in here. So um, let's wait until this finishes first before we, uh, we proceed. Um, but yeah, we can read it. Looks like we're going to have to we already have the app and yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna refactor this code base a little bit. We don't really need to do app. We could just do use create Pania. Okay, use router. Okay, mount app. So this puts it in the uh, div that has app as the ID. So this should be equivalent. Um, and what we need to do is we need to add this section there. So, okay, it looks like it finished. So yeah, we're gonna have to add this section here. So let's just do it right at the beginning. Okay. And we're gonna have to import this view player and the CSS, so let's do that. Okay. All right. And let's just save it and see if the page loads. Okay. And let's actually restart the server. Okay, good. So now there's no warnings. Okay, so let's take a look at how do we actually embed a video there. And also let's take a look at, oh, that's just iTunes. Okay, we can use a YouTube video. Um, yeah, let's look at a sample. And the thing that I wanna use is, let's just do a YouTube element here. Mm. YouTube div element. Let's do dip. let's do YouTube because that's that's a little better, and let's stick it in YouTube Looper. So YouTube Looper. Um, so we have the header. Let's just stick this in here. Uh, I'm actually gonna expand out the comment or the properties out a little bit so it's easier to fit on a half size window so you all can see. Basically, I just pasted this in here. I don't know what YouTube video this is, but let's just see what we got on the uh, the local host, um, whatever's running this. I forget what server, what the server is, local host, okay. Cool, so if we go to YouTube Looper, there is an embedded YouTube video, yay. And it looks like there's a little bit of uh, responsiveness going on, that's fine, we'll, we'll just deal with that later. Um, we can even style this div. So this is like, I don't know, class equals U2 player, like video wrapper or something that I got. And you can style it. So you can do like video wrapper with, let's say it's 50%. Um, interesting, 
200 pixels maybe. Okay, I think we have to put that in a div above that. So let's do that. Okay, cool. So now this is actually works. So you can make it 500, you can make it 80%, you can make it float right. Um, you can do margin left auto, margin right auto, which will center it. Right, so yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna do 80% and float left for now. I'm not worrying too much about the style there. And yeah, so now we have the video. Um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to see if we can actually mm, figure out some metadata about this video. So if you look at